Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Got lots more reviews and comparison videos coming soon. But in today's video, we're going to be doing a full in-depth review on the Gunput Apollo S by Auto Art Signature Series. Now this one is a 118 out of production model car and comes in the typical auto art signature box. So you got the Gumper Apollo S box, um, complete black box with the auto art signature logo at the bottom. And the model is encased in the polystyrene um, protection box. Um, always pretty standard in most auto art um, models, especially the signature series. But let's start the review on the new Gumput Apollo S that has joined my AutoArt 118 model car collection. So on the turntable, I've got the AutoArt Signature Series Gumput Apollo S finished in this stunning metallic blue. Really, really nice um, paint specification on this model car. So um, after we've done that um, quick box review, now this model car does come with lots of different paperwork, which I always show you. Um, pretty standard on all um, auto art signature models. So as always, this is a fully opening die cast model car. So it does come with full instructions on how to open up all of the different compartments on the model. So um, the front, um, the front compartment completely lifts up. The whole rear engine clam lifts up and the doors are also fully functional and opening. So always good to read the instruction manual before you start opening up compartments because some are, are screwed down and um, it's always good to know um, exactly what you're doing. Next, it comes with the certificate of authenticity, which I love. Um, so as you guys know, I display the um, certificate behind the um, model car so um, always good to have that and next it's got the little booklet on how the model car was made I l always love these things um, it does show you all of the different parts that were used in the model so um, I can tell you on this model the total part count is 479 separate metal and plastic parts so it is quite a highly detailed model car hasn't got the same kind of part count as the zondas where there are at least 700 parts but i do feel this model is quite significantly underrated unfortunately just because it's a cheaper auto art model um doesn't mean that it's um cheaper in terms of quality or details um, you can get these models fairly cheap. When I say cheap, I mean relative to other auto art signature models. So this one costs around probably 200 to 300 pounds, depending on colors and conditions. I bought this on eBay and it's totally in mint condition. Um, also, um, this model does come with the little bag of auto art goodies so it comes with the engine strut this is quite important to hold up the rear engine clamshell because it doesn't hold up by itself you need this to support the weight so keep that safe it also comes with the um, auto art screwdriver because the rear clam is um, screwed down so it's um, neat to have one of these and it comes with the auto art opening key as well which i always use in my videos just to helps you to open up all of the different compartments on the model car so now that we've done all of the accessories and what the model car comes with let's start off the review of this model car so um firstly just let me know what you guys think of the model in the comments um, it's one of my um, one of my favourites in the collection. Always wanted to have the um, the Gumper in the collection. It was such a it was a bit of a Marmite car. Um, people like it, people don't. The style is very um, 50 50. For me, I love the massive um, massive wing. I love the way it looks. I think it's quite aggressive. 
and I think it suits my um, auto art collection quite well. So firstly, the whole paint application on the model car is done really nicely. The metallic blue's got a really good depth and um, fleck to the paintwork. Um, it really is a metallic blue under really nice light. The whole paint on this model absolutely pops, looks absolutely phenomenal. So let's start off with the front end of the model. So this whole um, front compartment does open up. Um, so this whole um, front lifts off the uh, model car, which I'll show you guys after we've done the exterior. But the, um, the blue is very, very nice on the model. The badge is done very realistically at the front. You've got the Gumput badge, which looks really nice. You've got the carbon inside the front headlights and it's covered in the clear plastic um, lens, which looks really realistic. And you can see all of the different beams as well, which I really like. The whole front end of the model is finished in um, the mesh, the black mesh in all of the openings, which looks really realistic. And you've got this elongated front splitter as well, um, finished in carbon fiber, glossy carbon fiber. And you've got the winglets on either side, I assume, just to clean the air as it comes through the model car. So um, quite heavily on aerodynamics there. Also, you've got the, the louvers over the front wheels. Now, the louvers are there and they're finished in carbon fiber and look um look really good the louvers are in place to reduce that um, front wheel pressure and um, to stop that car lifting from the front so again better downforce better aerodynamics and um, for for better drive as well but in terms of, a, of an aesthetic point of view I think they're really nice you start to see them more on the racier cars as well because they do improve downforce um, again, you've got the windscreen wipers, which are done quite nicely. And the whole windshield is done quite realistic. Um, looks good, looks clean. All the um, the gaps around the um, windscreen are done very nicely as well. Um, so the whole front end is quite realistic. Not much for me to fault or critique. Um, I think it's a really good job by, by AutoArt. So let's start to look at the side of the model. Now again, on these racing cars, on the driver's side, the um, the wheel nut color are, is different. So on the driver's side, it's blue. And on the passenger side, it's red. Now again, this is always on most race cars. I know the MC12's got it. The Carrera GT's got it as well. So let's start to look at some of this wheel detail now again you've got the black rims which i like against the um, bright blue so you've got the the disc which are huge covers the whole size of the wheel again as i said you've got the blue center nut great detail matches the paintwork and you've got the huge black calipers as well and you've got the gumper on the caliper as well so you've got good good caliper detail the discs are done nicely uh, the center nuts a really good touch and the whole wheel design is um, is pretty good. Can't really fault it. Again, there's no tire writing on the tires, which is always a bit of a shame. Um, it's a bit of a hit and miss with auto art on that one. But um, I think overall the wheel is um, is really good, really realistic. So let's start to work around the side of the model. So again, this is a fully open and die cast model car. So the doors do open up. But there's really good levels of um, of detail. So you've got the air intakes on this side and going into the engine bay, finished in black mesh, uh, metal mesh, which is um, nice touches of detail there by Auto Art. Again, the paint works really nice, um, really consistent, good um, good uh, fleck in the paintwork. You've got the side mirrors as well, which are finished in carbon fiber and look amazing. I think matches the massive air intake, which we've got up here, which is also finished in um, in carbon fiber. Again, the um, the doors are done um, really nicely. They're gold wing doors. And um, I'll show you guys that shortly. 
and they lift up really nice and you've got really realistic struts that hold the doors up. So coming around the side of the model, the rear wheels are done quite nicely, the same as the front. Um, slightly bigger, I think. They look bigger at the rear. Um, I know that the tyres are, um, are a lot wider at the rear than at the front. And um, I'll show you guys that once I start to um, lift up compartments on the model. So coming round to the rear end. Now you've got this gigantic rear spoiler finished in carbon fibre. Um, it's absolutely huge literally covers the entire width of the car um, but again finished in carbon fiber looks amazing it is an active spoiler so you can see the different mechanisms underneath the spoiler um, as well really realistic really good touch by auto art the rear lights are done nicely as well clear plastic lens you can see all the main beams um, and it does look realistic You've got the massive exhausts as well, um, which kind of just come out of the engine bay. And you've got the mesh around the exhausts um, as well, which does look really nice. You've got this uh, massive rear diffuser, which looks really aggressive, finished in carbon fiber. Um, and like most race cars, um, really aggressive and track focused um, in design. But for me, I love the exhausts. I think they just look amazing, very prominent, um, and they're just absolutely huge. You've got the Apollo badge in the center, and you've got the little red S right there as well, which does look really good. You've got the mesh on the front of, on sorry, on top of the engine cover. Um, again, better cooling, but this whole rear engine um, clam does lift up completely, pretty much to 90 degrees. Um, and I'll show you guys that very shortly. Does look phenomenal with the um, with all of the compartments up. So coming round the other side of the model. Now again, um, well you can see the the red center caps on the passenger side. Um, again, I think this is common on most race cars. Um, I quite like it. I think it's quite cool. But the wheel designs on the driver side are, um, are very nice. As I say, you've got the red center caps. You've got the air intakes as well on the engine and the front. You've got the um, the fuel the fuel um, the fuel cap on the passenger side. Really realistic, actually, quite like that. But I think overall, the um, the exterior of the model is really nice. Um, really highly detailed. The paint works phenomenal. Um, not much that I can critique in terms of the exterior. I would like to see some tie writing. Um, some of the carbon fiber work could be a little bit more glossier. Um, this is quite an early auto art model. Um, but let's take a look at the interior of the model. Open up the engine, the engine clam and take off the front compartment to have a look at some more detail in terms of what is laying underneath all of these um, compartments. So as we start to take a look at the interior of the Gunput Apollo S, now I've removed the front compartment of the model, which comes off as a whole piece. Um, so I'll show you guys. So this whole front compartment comes off as a whole piece and it's supported um, two ways. So you've got the pins on both the right and the left hand side that slot into the holes on the model car. Um, so that's one way that it's secured. And also, if I turn this round, you can see the two magnetic points on the underside of the front compartment. And you've got the two magnetic points on the model that also supports it and holds down this front um, piece. But I do like the way it comes off the model. It comes off as a whole piece which is quite good and it, once it's um, put back, the shut lines and the panel gaps are very neat and minimal. Um, so it's a good job there by, um, by AutoArt. So let's put this away safely and start to show you guys some of the interior detail now of the Gumpet. Um, firstly, before you start to move um, the, the pieces around and open things up, Again, I would recommend 
to read the um, instruction manuals. There's a lots of different things going on with this model car. So the um, the engine cover, which I'll show you guys shortly, is also bolted down with two screws, which are on the underside of the model car, um, right next to the rear wheels. So um, be careful when you're um, loosening them off. And it also does come with the um, Auto Art screwdriver, which is um, essential to do this. Just makes your life a lot easier to um, unscrew those um, those bits at the rear. But again, just um, go over the instructions because it is quite fiddly some points. Um, so just just so you make sure that you're not um, you know breaking anything or damaging anything any further. But once you do remove the front compartment, it does show a significant level of um, detail that's present in all of AutoArt's signature models. So take a look at that. Make sure my camera is focusing on that. So you can see the um, the suspension unit at the front compartment. You've got different reservoirs, different fluid reservoirs for the um, for the car. You can see the way the steering works, and this model is fully um, the, the steering is fully functional. Everything is finished in carbon fiber, um, especially on the interior as well. So it's got a very nice glossy carbon fiber finish. You can see the orange. Um, air intakes, um, orange piping that's um, from the front um, air intakes ch gets channeled through the orange piping and onto the discs to cool down the front brake discs. So it's always very good to see this high level of detail in auto art signature models. But the suspension's realistic, the, um, the, 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 the steering wheels are um, very realistic as well, the wishbones. Um, all of the piping, the cooling, and everything in there is very nicely done. And also on the top bit, you've got the um, the air intake, I believe, for the cabin as well, also finished in um, carbon fibres. So it does look all very nice and very realistic and quite authentic as well. So again, you wouldn't expect anything less from Auto Art Signature when it comes to detail. And when you start to remove panels, it starts to show even more levels of high-end um, craftsmanship and details. So that is the front compartment of the model. Um, again, very highly detailed. Um, and once you start to remove the um, components of the model car, it does start to look even more realistic. So let's swing the model round. Now the doors on this model car are um, the Goldwing style doors, so they open upwards. So this is what you do, and they do stay on the model, and it is quite realistic. So they open up and out, much like the Pagani Huayra model. And once they come up like that, they do stay open, um, hopefully for long enough for me to shoot this video. But on the underside of the um, of of the door, you can see the handle there um, with the sticker and the lock on it. So it's very very realistic. And then inside, you've got a lot of detail. So you can obviously see you can see the the four point harness um, on the driver's side and the passenger side. The seat, this whole seats are done very nicely. Um, it's kind of padded to the chassis. Everything in there is finished in carbon fiber. Seat belts, the buckles, the seats, everything is very highly detailed. And you've also got the um, the latch on the underside of the model. All of the struts to hold the door up as well are quite realistic. Let me try and um, just spin this round a little bit so you can get a bit more of the detail on the driver's side. So again, as this is quite a race car, the um, interior is quite minimalistic, very bare inside, very track focused, but there's good levels of detail. Um, the seats are done nicely. Um, the whole driver and driver zone is done very detailed. Steering wheel looks good. All the dials look good. Center dash is finished in carbon fiber um, and all the detail on the passenger side as well. So I think overall it's not all to art's best work in terms of um, interior detail, but it's not bad and it's definitely a very good attempt. Um, this is a race car, so it is quite minimalistic inside.
Um, but it, it is a really good job by um, by Auto Art to replicate that um, kind of authentically. So again, close the doors down. They come down and they're held down magnetically like that. And you can see once you close the doors down, all of the um, the shut lines around the model, so around the door and when I put the front compartment on, they're all very neat and very tidy. There's no big panel gaps or um, um, gaps between all the compartments. So coming round to the rear of the model. Now this whole rear engine cover does um, completely lift up and there's a lot of detail in here. So firstly, um, as I mentioned at the start, it's held on by two screws that are held underneath the model. And uh, this is the screwdriver to do it. The screws are very, very tiny. Um, they're it's probably two turns of the screwdriver, you, you would unscrew it. And I would say once you've unscrewed it, I would leave it unscrewed instead of keep it um, keep on screwing it and unscrewing it because once you um you close it there's no difference at all um, then also it comes with the strut as well so i'll show you guys where to place this so let's turn this round now this little metal strut here make sure your model comes with that because the engine cover will not stay open without some support so Let's lift up the um, the whole engine cover now. It's quite a big piece. It's got a bit of weight to it as well. So I would use two hands just in case it falls down. So it lifts up quite a lot. Like that. All the way up. And then this little strut here goes on the driver's side. So you've got a hole in here which you put the first bit in. And then you kind of rest it down on the model car. Like so, make sure that is secure. Which it is in place. Yep, which is all in place just to make sure. And it, it shows off a very, very impressive engine bay um, which I'll show you guys in a lot of depth right now so again let's come out a little bit so you guys can see the whole thing engine bay is very very good on this uh, model car I've removed the um, Apollo engine cover which normally just sits on here this is removable um, so I would recommend to remove it if you want to see more of the engine bay so this is removed and it's also finished in carbon fiber and it's got Apollo embossed in it, which is very nice. So let's take a closer look at this engine bay. So again, you've got the um, massive exhaust pipes at the front and you've got this, such a le massive level of um, detail here. So you've got the fully um, active and working suspension unit, which you can see on, by the yellow springs. Um, really good, it's kind of the same design as the um, Koenigsegg um, sign of triplex suspension unit, even though it's not that, it's quite similar in the terms of the layout. You've got the massive engine block quite quite far down for better weight distribution. You, you can see the dipstick there on the side. Again, all the other reservoirs and fluid compartments on the model car. And it's always finished in carbon fibre which looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, so you've got the massive air intake finished in carbon fiber, and you've got this compartment here, which lifts up. And I believe that is storage. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think that is a boot. Um, very, very small boot, quite, quite highly detailed. Everything um, when you start to open up is very, very highly detailed. So this is very nicely done. Even the struts are very realistic and it comes with all of the stickers and everything on the model, which looks absolutely amazing. The tires are done very nicely. Look at the width of the tires at the rear. They're a lot wider than the ones at the front, which is always good, that small level of um, detail. And you can see the active working suspension units, um, all of the different rods and compartments. 
always very very realistic i mean this is this is a really underrated engine bay um in my eyes it's definitely up there with one of the best um i wouldn't say it's better than the kearney's eggs or the zonda models but it's definitely um one of the best i do think this model is quite underrated um i don't know why but um, I think it is extremely realistic and one of the best. I love the exhaust setup as well. The exhaust is so um, so big, so um, prominent. And this whole rear diffuser is so aggressive as well. Always finished in, um, in glossy carbon fibre and looks absolutely amazing. So let's close down the, um, the boot first, which is done as so. Like that. Now to remove the strut that we've placed on the driver's side, you need to lift up the engine bay first, take the pressure off the strut. This is the strut, try and keep it safe somewhere. I, know I tend to leave this in the box because it's so small, um, you can quite easily lose that. So let's place that somewhere safe and then you can bring this whole rear clamshell down like that and there is quite a lot of weight to that rear clamshell um, as the whole thing's die cast metal so um, there's good weight in there and as I mentioned as you've closed down the um, the rear clamshell look at all the shut lines on the model they're almost perfect I mean they're, they're, there's hardly any panel gaps or um, big um, big gaps between all the different opening compartments all very neat, very tidy, very, very realistic and very nicely done by um, by Autowell. So, and also the passenger side door does open up as well, exactly like the driver's side. It's a gold wing um, style. But that is, in essence, the um, the inside or the interior of the, um, of the Gumper Apollo S. I think it is absolutely amazing there's lots of good parts good quality of materials in there um, so let's put on the front compartment and do a very quick summary so now that we have done the complete review of the Gumpert Apollo S and um, we've done the review of the exterior and we've removed all of the um, all of the parts on the model uh, for me, if I was to give this a model out of 10, I'd definitely say um, a solid 8.5. I think it's a really good model car. I would definitely recommend it for your collection. If you're looking for one, I would say go for it. Not much that I would change. Um, as I say, I would like to see some tyre writing. Um, but I think overall, it's a really good model car. Um, I think it's good value now um, as well. It's definitely underrated i don't know why i think it's underrated because it is um, of the price but the price is definitely warranted um really good levels of detail and i think they will definitely hold their value at their current um price at the moment but please leave your um your suggestions what you think of the review and the car in the comments um always go through the comments and um and read them so I um, hope you guys enjoyed the view, the review, and uh, please like and subscribe to the channel um, as I've got lots more reviews coming, comparison videos, and uh, more pre-order models on the way. So stay tuned for all of that, and I'll see you guys very soon for more videos to come. Take care.